Ladies and gentlemen, the referee for this contest, the popular, colorful, former heavyweight king, and a great one, who with his former manager and the promoter of tonight's fine show, Jack Doc Kearns, created the million dollar boxing gate right here in this state. Ladies and gentlemen, Jack Dempsey. This is the feature contest on this evening's program, 15 rounds, the former heavyweight champion from Livermore, California, weighing two, two, three and a half, and he's wearing purple trunks, Max Bear. His opponent from Patterson, New Jersey, weighing 207 and a half, wearing black trunks, looked upon by boxing experts as the next and outstanding contender for Joe Lewis's heavyweight crown, Patrick Edward Comiskey. <laughs> Would you talk right into this microphone? Not this way, Jack. Okay, you want to get them around you right here? Right loud in there. Put them loud. Well, now, uh, Pat and Max, we both went over the rules this morning, and you understand what this fight is for and what it means to both of you. So the only thing I'm going to say to you, I want to fight, and I want a clean fight. I want you to shake hands now and come out fighting and be the better man win. Good luck to both of you. Can't beat that. <laughs>
Watch it, boys. Watch it. The, the referee stops the contest. The elapsed time, two minutes, 39 seconds in the first round. The winner is Max Baer. introduce Jack Hearns, yes, the promoter of the fight. Just a minute, my Jack. Angel. Jack. My <laughs> angel. Oh, my angel. You read this. Oh, Jack, you just go right ahead and talk. Well, Max, you won uh, another championship tonight, the world's white heavyweight champion, and I hope you defend that title against Joe Lewis's title. Thank you, Jack, and thank you again for the 30000 Where's Hoffman? What's Hoffman? Oh. We'd like to know your story of how the battle went. Just tell us a little bit of how the fight went so far as you were concerned, how it looked to you. Well, it wasn't much of a fight, but I slug it out. It wasn't much of a fight, but I slug it out. There wasn't much of a fight, but we slug it out, what there was of it. Uh, we started a few minutes of the fight there. It was very slow, but it wound up in a slugging match. And that's the way it went. Pat, I noticed that you did very well when you were boxing with him, but I guess the old Irish got the better of you and you wanted to slug, didn't you, Pat? That's right, Lester. Well, Pat, I know that as long as you put up exhibitions like that, regardless of the result, the fans are going to come out to see you, and I think they won't lose any faith in you because you're just a buy, as we say. Pat, this was only your 30th pro fight, wasn't it? That's right, Lester. <laughs>